This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Alex Poetai Pereira! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. Uh, you ready? You ready? Sure, sure. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Too. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight, they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jet. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, strong punch there by Ngannou. Oh, how about the right hand from Francis Ngannou? It's hard to watch. I can't imagine it feels off. You watch Francis put out an entire generation of heavyweight that came before him. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Wow. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Beautiful leg kick throw. Just over three minutes to go. Wow! Just a slip there. Nice punch by the predator, Francis Ngannou. Try to establish that jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. Now we're going. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. He's having his way with him here. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, that's gotta be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Nice. And they separate. Just missed with the left there. Spinning back fist. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, 
you feel like the fight might be ending. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath. Right. right? You hear a big exhale. Every time it's the same story, just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. All right, side control now. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. How good is that right here? Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Excellent land by him there with the uppercut. If he had changed the angle, that could have been a knockdown. I mean, he threw every part of himself into that strike. And he landed the right hand there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. That's a big strike right there. Oh, nice elbow. Five minutes in the books. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Just missed with that right hand. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, there's the double leg takedown. And they both stand up. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. The Predator gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stack guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Big kick lands. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Back to the feet now. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shots. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. The Predator gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. 
Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, single collar tie here. So a much different approach from him here in no. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. And Ganu gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Back and forth we go. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Right punches there. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Flush right hand is true. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Andy. Throws the right hand there. Slips the punch nicely there. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down from the head and land a beautiful punch to the head. Oh, nice work to get the takedown there. Good entry by the predator, Francis Ngannou. And a very close one on a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. All right, well, we'll see if his opponent can make the requisite adjustments. He got taken down left and right there that previous round. It's going to be very difficult because he never got a specific type of takedown. It right. was oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, big left hook there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful take. Big combination here of ground and pound strikes. Nice work by Francis Ngannou. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. I mean, how many can he take? Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he up. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. And Ganu looked like it did stun him a little bit. Whoa! 
back to the feet. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Under three minutes remain in round three. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. That punch, no good. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And they separate. Just misses with the left hook. Nice loop and punch. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. This can change the fight. Another takedown win. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, lands with the ground and pounce strike. Gets up again here, but hurting. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent oh. very bad. Unbelievable. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh, oh he goes with the punch and he lands. Back up again, you gotta like that. Oh! Big kick. Oh, cash money with that left hand counter. Oh! Oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands plus to the head. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hunt. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. Connects with a right. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Pretty good right hand. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Swing and a big miss by Francis Ngannou. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. What a punch. Blocks the shot. They continue to exchange. Yeah. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this Now goes in and secures the takedown. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Great punch. Oh, straight right. Notice the drive. Oh, huge right hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. Whoa. Oh, look at that. He's it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the U.S.